Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 on this tutorial on how to make these two cast aluminium slingshots. I'm going to start straight where I left off and we just finished on gluing the handle and pots of wood onto the slingshot. If you haven't seen part 1, it will be linked in the description down below and enjoy the video. So the glue which I'm using is just going to be a two part epoxy resin. So both the pieces are clamped together and I make sure that it's lined up properly and I've got just enough glue so that it comes out around the edges. Now I'm going to leave this overnight so that it's properly set before I work on it tomorrow. So this is what the slingshot looks like once the glue has set and as you can see it's all around the edges here and it's completely solid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on another piece of hardwood here but this time using wood glue since it's a wood to wood bond. So this is the slingshot after both the glue has dried for this piece and for this piece. So now I'm just going to rasp and file it all into the basic outline like this. And I'm not going to do any sort of shaping in this direction yet because I'm sort of going to sort of build up some more area towards the fork over here. For removing the wood material quickly, I like to use wood rasps. I like to make sure that I don't get them on the aluminium because even though some people say that you can rasp aluminium because it's so soft, I don't like to damage and blunt in my rasps. So this is what it looks like once I've rasped this roughly into the outline profile like this. As you can see it just follows all the flat metal like this and I've sort of flattened it out on this side so that you can see the grain. And I think once this has been oiled there'll be a really nice contrast between these two pieces of wood and the metal. As well as this it's easily got enough thickness. All that I've got to do is build up some more material up here. So the next part which I'm going to glue on is this small piece of homemade micarta that's made from denim. So this is denim micarta. I'm just going to glue it on as a spacer here and then I'm going to have some more wood up here later. So since it's quite a difficult angle to get any clamps on, I've just put some pretty strong postman's elastic bands around it. Now I'm going to start to glue some hardwood along this top area here. So just using a regular wood saw, I've very roughly cut this out and then smoothed off the back with some sandpaper and the edges. So now I can take it and when I glue it on, it'll look like this. So this is what it looks like once I've clamped it up to set and again I've just used a two part epoxy. This is what the slingshot looks like once I've shaped the wood so that it's flush with the aluminium. Now I'm going to glue on this piece of micarta which I made, homemade micarta, and I'm going to be linking the tutorial to how I made this in the description down below. Again, this was just glued on with a regular two-part epoxy, and now that it's set, I can start to shape it down just as I did with the wood. Remember with my carter to wear a dust mask, because you don't want to get fiberglass splinters in your lungs. So as you can see, this is what it looks like once I've finished rounding it and shaping it, just so that it's flush with the wood beforehand. Now I've basically built up all of the different layers of wood and metal that I need to make it an ergonomic slingshot. All I've got to do now is just file in the shape so that it fits my hand really well. For my fingers I'm filing in a dip so that all of my fingers can fit around it and I'm making sure that it's thin enough so that it fits into my hand. And then for the top part I'm basically just going to round it so that there's no sharp edges because they don't look very good. So I've shaped the slingshot and this is what it looks like after the shaping. As you can see I've also put these grooves going all the way around the fork like this and that's going to be for the band attachment method. The slingshot's really comfortable and it fits my hand really well and you can pull on the forks as hard as you like and it doesn't hurt. So now I'm going to be using a set of sanding drums which I bought off Amazon for about £10 and then you can buy spare belts for them for about £3. Really worth getting and if you don't have these you can also just use a different diameter wooden dowels with some sandpaper wrapped around them but these are much quicker and I'm just going to be putting them in my drill. I'm using these to remove all of the scratches left behind by the filing and once I'm done it should leave a nice smooth shiny surface. So this is what the slingshot looks like once I've finished using the rotary sanding drums and it looks pretty smooth. You've, I've sort of got out all of the deep scratches left behind by using the files. So now I'm going to go over, over everything with some 180 grit sandpaper to get rid of all of the other deep scratches left behind and then I'll be, start to move up to higher grits. So 
So this is what the slingshot looks like once I've finished sanding it and it's pretty smooth now. There's not any deep scratches left in any of the wood or the aluminium. So for this next stage of sanding I'm going to basically be using a combination of sanding sponges and these are basically loads of different great sanding sponges, you can buy them off eBay, just search sanding sponges and you can definitely buy them especially for the UK eBay and I've also got this pack of 250 foam sanding pads and you can also just use normal sandpaper but I find sanding sponges are a lot better, a lot more versatile and quicker. So now just for stability and also just to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm going to take a 3mm drill bit in the end of my drill and I'm then going to drill in some holes for some of these fiberglass pins which are then going to be sanded down and make it look a little bit nicer. So now that we've got those pins inserted, it makes the slingshot look a little bit nicer. Now we can go on to sanding the rest of the slingshot up. So this is what the slingshot looks like after sanding with the sanding sponges and it's really smooth and it's pretty much mirror reflective at the moment. But now I'm going to go to the buffing wheel and make it completely mirror shiny. So for buffing the slingshot, I'm just going to be using a buffing wheel on my bench grinder. This was originally a belt sander attachment, but I just took it off and put on a buffing wheel since I'm going to use this much more often and I've got a belt, better belt sander anyway. I'm going to be just using some buffing compound on the wheel and then buffing the slingshot like this. And this buffing wheel could also be put in a drill and it was only £4 off Amazon and it's definitely worth buying one. And if you don't want to get one, you could also just use metal polish like Brasso and then just rub it on with a piece of paper towel or something. Also, as you can see, I've just wrapped some tape over the edges of the wooden bits like this so that hopefully it won't dirty up any of the wood. And if it does, I can always just sand out the metal. So this is what it looks like after the buffing and it's incredibly shiny and I managed to avoid getting any metal dust onto the wood. So now I'm going to take some boiled linseed oil, just like this, and I'm going to oil all of the wood parts. So this is what the slingshot looks like once I've finished them, and they look really nice, I think. And the oil has really brought out the contrast and grain in the wood. It's also made them slightly more water resistant. So I've now banded both slingshots up with some double layered TheraBand gold just attached with rubber bands attached around there and attached with some rubber bands up here. There's loads of tutorials on how to do this on the internet already and you can also buy these pre-made. These have strong leather pouches and they're set to fire 15mm steel ball bearings. So I've got my two slingshots ready and I've got the target just here. It's basically a very soft cushion that is going to catch all of the ammo and then it's just going to fall below. And I've got just a small biscuit tin made of thin sheet metal on the lid to see how much I can destroy it. So let's see how much we can break it. So as you can see it left a decent sized dent here. Now let's move further back and have some more shots at it at a longer range. So it looks like I've done a decent amount of damage to this tin. I was originally aiming to try and cut all the way through it, but it's starting to get dark now and my fingers are really cold because it's freezing out here. So for those of you wondering how serious a weapon one of these slingshots is, it's incredibly serious. This easily has the potential to kill someone. 
Of course, these slingshots probably aren't powerful enough as they are. I'd have to equip them with heavier band sets and I can easily do that. The only reason I didn't do that today is because I currently pulled a muscle in my shoulder, which is the exact muscle that you use for drawing the back of these slingshots. And it's in my right shoulder as well, which is the arm that I used to pull it back. So it's incredibly painful to pull these back, even on these light bands. I wouldn't be able to manage heavier bands. Once that gets better, pretty much every one of these shots will go straight through once I equip it with heavier bands. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have please hit the like button down below and subscribe. Next week's tutorial is going to be how to cast this full aluminium tail hammer slingshot using the lost foam casting method which is much more accurate. So the link to that video will be in the description down below once I've finished and solved my metal casting playlist. Hopefully this video will be up in the next couple of weeks but I'm away all of next week so don't expect it too soon. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have please hit the like button down below and subscribe. If you did enjoy my video you might like some of my others and you can see previews of them here if you want to find out the full videos then go to my channel and check them out.